So I recently became aware of a new product that was being developed by Jim Lee and a company called Hex. And as soon as I saw this product, I knew that I had to get my hands on it. I actually reached out to the company, introduced myself, and asked for one of the products. And they thankfully agreed and actually sent it to me. And I had an opportunity to test this out at a couple of cons recently. I wanted to really put it to the test so that I could provide you guys with some actual insight into how this thing performs. If you want to know what I'm talking about, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to spend a little bit of time talking about a new product that I had an opportunity to test out. But before we get to that, I definitely want to encourage you, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, to take the time right now to smash that subscribe button so that you can stay abreast of all the content that I release from the channel on a weekly basis. Now, with that out of the way, I want to talk about this. This is the Hex Bag from the Hex Company and Jim Lee. I first became aware of this product a couple of months ago, and as soon as I did, I reached out and tried to make some magic because Jim Lee is the man, and anything that Jim Lee touches, I want to try to be a part of. And so I was able to get this bag in my hands and I've been testing it out as, as I talked about in the intro. And so what I want to do over the course of this video is I basically want to show you the features and functionality of this bag. I want to talk about the pros and the cons because as with anything, there is some good and there is some bad. So let's go ahead and dig into it. All right, so now we're going to take a closer look at the hex bag. And as I mentioned, there's actually two different versions of this bag available. One of them is geared towards artists and this particular bag is geared towards the collector. And you'll see why I say that in just a couple of moments. But we're basically gonna talk about the features and the functionality of this bag. And what I've done in preparation for this video is I've actually packed the bag full of some things that you might actually take to a con. And I wanna do that to basically show you the functionality as well as the capacity of this bag because it actually has a healthy the amount of capacity to to carry and hold all the things that you might need at a con or if you're traveling to a con or even for business for that matter and, and have to carry some comics with you for one reason or another and we're going to first look at the the things on the front side of the bag we're going to look at the sides we're going to then look in the inside and also take a look at the back side of this thing as well but what you'll notice here is that there is a large pocket on the front side of the bag so let's go ahead and, and pop that open and see what's inside so what you can see here is that I've actually, again, packed it with a couple of things. There's a uh, charger inside of here, and I always carry a charger with me to be able to charge up my iPads or my laptop or, you know, my cell phone. So that's in there. And again, this is a pretty large uh, charger, and there's ample room inside of this thing. So we'll pull that out. And then I also stuck my keys in here, again, just to kind of illustrate the capacity of this thing. And what you'll notice here as I open this thing up is that there's actually some really nice pockets pockets on the inside. Um, just a way to kind of keep your, your items kind of separated and organized. So if you have like a room key or something like that, there's a little bit of uh, some room in here for that or pins, whatever it is, there, there's a nice amount of room in here. And you also notice as I hold this front flap down that there is uh, some drawing on the inside. Uh, what they actually did is Jim Lee actually made a sketch of Batman that they actually used as the liner for the various pockets. And so I think that's a really, really nice touch. So instead of being flashy on the outside, it's flashy on the inside, but definitely a, a pretty nice touch here. So we'll we'll close that up here. Uh, but on the upper part of the front of the bag, there's also another another zipper here, and it has a nice little pull on it. So we'll open that thing up, and this is a a horizontal pocket that runs across the front of the bag, and this is really nice for being able to tuck things inside, like your sunglasses. If I can grab them out of there, pretty nice pocket. And I can tell you what I would have really liked to see here for this particular pocket is that actually a, a felt lined pocket or, or some kind of softer material to basically protect my sunglasses a little bit better. Um, but, but I think there's ample room in here for, you know, for pins or for sunglasses or for other items that can kind of fit in this orientation. 
As I rotate the back to the side, you can see here that there's a large pocket on the side here, large enough to accommodate a very massive, very massive water bottle here, but it's a, a nice little mesh pocket on this side and there's also one on the other side as well. So we'll move this water bottle out of the way. And I wanna do that to show you guys this pocket here. There is a little pocket here on the side that is actually held in place by, by Velcro. And it's a pretty nice pocket. Um, and again, this is a nice place, potentially if you uh, wanted to stick your wallet or something like that in there, it's a nice place to kind of hide that away. I would have loved to maybe see this a little more secure, like with a zipper or something like that. Again, if I'm placing my wallet in there, I wanna have it as, as secure as possible. Um, but again, pretty nice pocket, nice use of space space on this side. Rotate the bag around here. You can actually see uh, that we actually have another pocket on this side. Now, what I did is I just dropped some seltzer water in there, again, just to kind of illustrate the capacity of the bag. And there's a little, little pull here for you to be able to close that, that pocket down. So as I rotate the bag back to front here, we're gonna unzip this thing and take a look at the inside. And what you will immediately notice as I pull this up is that we see that same Batman pattern on the inside of the bag. Again, a very, very nice, subtle touch, I think. Uh, and again, it, it kind of incorporates some of that, that Jim Lee artwork, that Jim Lee touch to the bag. And I think it's really well done. But what you'll also notice here is that there is a lot of room inside this bag. And again, this is part of the reason why this thing is called the collector's bag is because they have these great sleeves here on the inside. There's a total of six sleeves that can accommodate six slabs. And I think what's really nice about each one of these sleeves is that they're actually lined with soft material to prevent the slabs from uh, scratching one another. The sleeves in general just pr you know provide a little protection because it separates everything out and keeps it, uh, again, nice and organized. And so again, six nice sleeves on the inside to protect comic books, including you know special books that we may have in our collection that we might be traveling with for one reason or another. And so a lot of people may say, hey, well, I don't really buy slabs. That's not really my thing. That's cool too, because there's a lot of room in between those two sections for a uh, what I have here is a store folio. And this is a great way to actually transport and protect your raw comics that you may be buying at a con. So there's ample room right in the middle between those two sections for something like that. And then in the very back here, there is actually additional room for a, a laptop or an iPad or something like that if you if you need to carry that. And this pocket too is also lined just like the six sleeves that I showed you up front. So again, a healthy amount of capacity on this bag to be able to carry your slabs and also your raw books. But but that it doesn't actually stop there. There's actually additional room in this bag down the sides. There's actually room here down the sides for you know snacks. If you if you happen to be traveling with some snacks, there's room there or if you have a jacket, you can actually roll your jacket up and slide it down the side. If you are, you know, carrying this thing at capacity, there, there is still some room off to the side. And, and if not, you take that out and then you have some extra room to be able to haul the things that you might need to carry. So definitely, definitely a lot of capacity on this bag, which I think is, is really nice. And so let's take a look at the, the back side of the bag. What you'll notice here is that there's a couple of straps back here. I actually carried this bag at two cons for a couple of hours and, and these straps are actually quite comfortable. Um, there was, there was no, uh, chafing. There was no irritation with these. And you guys know I don't really even wear sleeves, um, but the bag was pretty comfortable. And, and on the back side of the bag, you may not be able to see it here on camera very well, but there's actually some padding here on the back side of the wet bag to basically protect your back. So generally speaking, it is, it is a pretty, pretty nice bag. Um, my, my complaints, I've mentioned a couple already, uh, but one of the other things that, that I, I want to kind of point out here is that the bag is, is really, really simple. Outside of a couple of labels that they place here on the front side and one on the back strap, the bag is very, very simple. And I think that that may have been done intentionally to, to basically make the bag a little more appealing to people, um, but also to maybe keep the, the bag on the DL. Again, if you're carrying some pretty nice slabs, you, you don't necessarily want to draw attention to the bag. And so maybe that was part of the reason why they decided to go with a black bag with a little bit of flare on the inside. But but personally, I would have loved to see this bag in a, in a really nice color, um, something, you know, just 
not necessarily flashy, but something nice. And, and again, if those are my only complaints, this and a little bit of padding on the inside, you're still talking about a really, really good product. So again, I carried this thing at a couple of cons. I honestly do like the bag. There's a couple of things that I would have done differently, but generally speaking, it's pretty darn solid. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. And certainly if you have questions, comments, or thoughts, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section so that we can discuss this bag in more detail.